Hi foodie lovers, welcome back to my channel. This will be an updated foodie cleaning and maintenance video. I've tried different soaps and towels over the years and thought I'd go over some of them along with the ones that I like. Here's my cup of the day, Starbucks Sakura from China. There's cats. Right there. There's another one right here. And then another one right here. I'll start with daily cleaning, which means wiping your brushes on a cloth after each use. I used to use this yellow microfiber cloth for daily cleaning because I thought microfibers were soft enough. I would wipe my brushes off onto the cloth after each use. Let me just show you up close. One day I realized the cloth was too abrasive for my brushes because I would see tiny broken hair tips on it. There wasn't a lot each time I wiped my brushes and it didn't happen to every brush, but it shocked me enough to stop using it. After that, I decided to give some other cleaning cloths a try. Before I get into each towel, I wanted to note that I wash the towels with either Dove body soap or baby shampoo. The Hakuhodo is made out of 100% polyester and was developed specifically for their brushes. They wrote the secret to keeping brushes clean and in good condition over the years is regular cleaning after each use on their website. It's covered in a ton of tiny loops and can fray if you wash it with too much strength. It's in the middle of the spectrum for cleaning. It removes pigment and oils but not enough for my liking. I don't think it'll work well enough if you use a lot of liquid and cream products. The Ueda Bishoto is made out of 100% cotton but feels like soft linen. It looks woven and is translucent. You can see the white table behind through the cloth. If I double layer it like this, then you won't be able to see through the gaps. There are tiny gaps in the fabric and you can kind of see through it. This is a deal breaker for me as I don't want my makeup going through the towel onto whatever surface I've placed underneath it. It does, however, remove more makeup than the Hakuhodo cleaning cloth. There's pros and cons to both towels. The Hakuhodo towel cleans more gently, but the loops will fray, while this towel has gaps through it but has stronger cleaning power. The Shosho Long towel is the softest out of all the brush towels I've tried. It feels like a plush baby blanket. It's made up of small soft squares with larger woven squares underneath. I'm trying to look for the smaller squares underneath to show you. Right here. And here and here and here. So underneath these big fuzzy parts are knitted square parts. Yeah, all over here. It removes makeup and oils the best out of the three and well enough for my liking. I like this towel the most, but there is a caveat. It's a pain to wash like the Hakoda one since you have to be extra careful not to mess it up. If you rub too harshly during washing, the larger woven squares underneath show up and there's gaps. Here's a dirty one to compare to. Look at how much makeup I cleaned off. I hope you guys enjoy nerding out over brushes like I do, including everything that comes along with it like cleaning, accessories, and maintenance. At this point, there's no perfect towel for me, but if you have one that you love, please let me know. When it comes to washing Fude, even though the Fude companies recommend not washing your brushes often because it shortens the lifespan, if you're acne prone, concerned about bacterial buildup or residue buildup and how it will affect your skin, or if you just can't stand dirty brushes, then by all means, wash them as frequently as you'd like. Your skin and concerns are important and you can always repurchase a brush when it's no longer as soft as before or performing the way it used to. Or you can buy a backup if you love it since we're in Fude Apocalypse times. You can also just buy a completely different brush instead to try out something new. I've used Liquid Baby Shampoo, Baby Shampoo Bar, Dr. Bronner's Bar Soap, Hakuhodo Orange Bar Soap, The Bar Soap That Takeda Brush Sells, Tanseido Liquid Soap, Shosho Long Orange Bar Soap, Koyomo's Otoshigoro Cleaner, and Ueda Bishoto's Fude Bijin Brush Shampoo. I know I said I would give the Dove Bar Soap a try after I finished some of my soaps a couple years ago, but I kept forgetting and bought other soaps instead. If you've used the Dove Soap to wash your Fude with, please do let me know how it works. 
Does it make the brushes white without having to rub the head vigorously onto the brush? And does it make the bristles squeaky clean? I won't go into detail on brush soaps. I do not recommend. You can check out my older cleaning videos for that information. I no longer use the Baby Shampoo Bar, Hakuhoda Orange Bar Soap, and Tenseido Liquid Soap. I used up the previous Dr. Bronner's Bar Soap and bought a new one that has hemp and peppermint for the antibacterial properties, but I haven't used it yet. I use Dr. Bronner's as a last resort when I absolutely cannot get stains out of brushes, but you'll see after this that I don't really need to use it anymore at all. I'll be going over the ones I recommend and the newer ones I've tried. A tried and true gentle shampoo is liquid orange baby shampoo like the Johnson & Johnson one. It cleans gently, so I like to use it with squirrel brushes in particular. It does not remove stains on white goat brush as well. I recommend it for gentle cleaning and those with sensitive skin as the original orange one isn't heavily scented. The Shusha Lung Soap is circular and a lighter color than the Hakuhoto. It's more on the yellow side, while the Hakuhoto one I previously had was orange, almost like a blood orange. They do call the color vermilion after all. I wasn't able to find out what the ingredients are for this one, but I think there's alcohol in it. It doesn't clean stained white goat bristles well and leaves them feeling squeaky clean, just like the Hakuhoto Bar Soap. I'm not a fan of this one. They also have a liquid puff brush cleaning liquid and a brush conditioner, which I haven't tried, but I'd love to know how they are if any of you have tried them. I considered repurchasing the Hakoda Bar Soap, but I remembered how quickly it would decrease by getting wet and how it has alcohol in it. There have been more and more brush cleaners and shampoos over the years, and it's always interesting to see what companies come out with. This is the makeup brush cleaner Otoshigoro by Tsubokawa Mohitsu, aka the company who makes Koyomo brushes. This is the most recent release out of all the cleaners and shampoos here. It came out in 2019. This is 80 milliliters, which is small and comes with a spray nozzle. I did not see alcohol listed on the City Japan website for the ingredients. It notes that it's safe on hands, brushes, makeup puffs, and so forth, and that they don't use harsh acidic ingredients. Additionally, they wrote that besides makeup brushes, it can also be used on paint brushes, makeup puff applicators, and lipsticks, and other stains on clothes. It's basically multi-purpose and can be used for removing stains. It's a brown color that kind of reminds me of kombucha and smells faintly of chemicals. To use it, you spray the brush head for 30 seconds, rub it in, then rinse in lukewarm water. You can repeat it two to three times if the stains or residues remain. I sprayed it directly on some dry white goat brushes that had been stained with blush and eyeshadow for a couple weeks. I wasn't expecting much from this since I haven't come across any liquid cleaner for brushes that could remove stains easily. Typically only bar soaps can do that for me. This surprisingly removes stains easily. It doesn't really lather though. I like that you can spray it directly onto the dry brushes for 30 seconds, then rub it in and rinse. The brushes dry quickly afterwards as well. It's much smaller than a bottle of baby shampoo, but the stain removing power is also much stronger. Think of it like a tied to go pen, but for brushes. I like it a lot for thoroughly removing stains and quick drying, but it does seem to make some brushes feel less soft and leave a film on the hairs. Next time I use it, I will go in with baby shampoo right afterwards to soften the hairs. Next is the Ueda Bishoto CL120 Fude Bijin Make Brush Shampoo. It came out in 2018. It seems popular as there was only one in stock when I bookmarked it, but then it sold out so I had to wait a couple weeks for them to restock before purchasing. This is 120ml and comes with a pump. It also comes with a stopper. I love the color and opaqueness of the bottle. I intend on reusing the bottle's house baby shampoo after I've finished it. I also didn't see alcohol listed on the CD Japan website for the ingredients. The description on CD Japan says it's gentle, lathers, provides a soft finish, and has a clean, soapy scent. I was expecting something viscous like a typical hair shampoo, but the consistency is very runny, like water. I feel like you can go through the bottle pretty quickly since it's so runny. I used around one pump each time on all undyed goat brushes that were mostly heavily stained. It does an impressive job at washing out the stains, but you do need to lather and rub the bristles a bit before it comes off. It's definitely better than liquid baby shampoo in that aspect. You'll need more than one pump though if the stains are incredibly stubborn. Here's before and after photos of some brushes I used it on. Here are the brushes I used it on once again. The hairs are indeed soft after drying. They don't feel squeaky clean or dry either. 
One thing that bothered me is that I noticed the hairs on the outer layers of the brushes splayed out a lot during and after the drying process, which is something I've never seen before with brush cleaners. My Hakuhoto B142 has crazy splaying and unruliness, which I'm not a fan of. The hairs on the outer layer don't stick to the body. The other brushes besides the Koyomo Sakura Chic and Hakuhoto B142 are fine though. Scent-wise, I would say it has an extremely strong floral scent. It doesn't smell like soap to me. I wasn't expecting the scent to be this strong and was taken aback by it. I don't like scented skincare or makeup for my sensitive skin and this kind of falls into the skincare category since it's cleaning brushes that will be used on your face. Strong smells and bristles don't really bother me though because I can just air it out and wait for it to dissipate. Overall, this shampoo would have been perfect if not for the heavy scent and splaying hairs. Here it is compared with the Koyama brush cleaner on the left. You can see how much bigger the Bichotto one is on the right. Makeup brush cleaners and shampoos like these count towards the free shipping for makeup brushes on CD Japan. If you order 12,000 yen or more worth of makeup brushes and cleaning items, you can get free shipping. Refer is also coming out with the brush soap soon. I received their brush soap sample and tested it out. It's a circular thin black soap that has a particular scent to it, a bit herbally. The smell isn't very strong. It reminds me of black charcoal soap. I used it on some stained white goat brushes and was able to create a lather, then rub out the color residue without having to rub harshly. The heavily stained brushes did not need a second lather, but overall the stains came out easily and I'm quite happy with how this soap works. I did a final rinse with baby shampoo afterwards to soften the bristles in case it really is black charcoal based. I don't want it to dry out the bristles too much. I wasn't informed what it's made out of. It doesn't make some of the brushes completely white. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in the before and after photos, but some of them are still ever so slightly stained in parts. I do wish that the soap was thicker. It's too thin for my liking and I will go through it quickly. I do want to provide an update on the Shampon Dama bar soap that Takeda Brush sells. The more I used it, the more I disliked it. It doesn't clean white bristles well and leaves the brushes feeling squeaky clean. I've used it for a long time and can't wait to finish it up. For maintenance, you can use your finger oil or a drop or two of camellia or olive oil onto the bristles when you feel like they're drying out. These hairs are natural like our own hair, which means taking care of them properly and gently will maintain them for a longer period of time. Just like how people use oils to help moisturize and renew luster on their hair, using this on your natural hair brushes will give the same effect. You can also use a comb to brush the hairs for maintenance. These are called tsugegushi or boxwood combs. Koyudo sells their own comb as well, but it looks like the head is made out of metal. I prefer a boxwood or plastic comb if I were to use one to prevent the least amount of hair breakage. A Kumano Fude brand sales associate previously told me plastic combs are fine to use for Fude. Lastly, after I wash them, I gently squeeze the water out and then hang them upside down on brush trees. I love using brush trees. I don't put brush guards on them until they're completely dry as to not loosen the glue in the ferrule during the drying process. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!